Hello everyone, this has been probably the most difficult update so far because I changed quite a lot of things from the original book. So this update is about items and about inventory. <clears throat> and as you can see, there is like a new um, suggestion here that says that if you press the letter I, you will see the inventory. So you get this pop-up window and because we have no items, nothing happens. So now if you move around i've populated this world full with items so that they will appear in big number <clears throat> so this is a potion for example as you can see on the bottom left it says healing potion and then if you press the letter g you can grab it so now we had we have the potion and now if we press inventory well it says we have the potion and then it has a hint that says that it heals six uh, it heals six health points so yeah, let's move around. There is another potion. If you can also grab it, there is another potion and the other type of item which I've made, which is like a map. So now you can see we have three potions and then you still can scroll up and down and the map. And the potion still uh, heal six health points while the map is going to rebuild the whole map. So if you press escape, we keep the inventory and then if you want to use some of the items, it's very easy. We only need to press enter. So for example, I'm going to execute the map. And then you can see how the whole thing is rebuilt, which can be very useful for the player. And then if I use a potion, you can see now, for example, that the HP is 10. So now it's 16. And then it says both in the log like map with the other player heal 6 HP. This was, to be honest, quite a difficult update because handling all these menus and all these things seem maybe quite different, you know, stacking different texts one after the other and changing information about keystrokes. Seems like very simple, but it was, it was not. So that's everything. Thanks for the game.